As many of you know, I make my living as the captain of a corporate jet. The Friday before Christmas, I was sitting in an FBO, which is like a terminal for private airplanes, and I couldn't help but overhear a conversation taking place behind me between a middle-aged woman, a law enforcement officer, and what I found to be her son, who was in his early 30s. Now, it bears to mention that this FBO is in a fairly liberal part of California. The woman was explaining to the law enforcement officer that she had always been strictly anti-gun, so it troubled her when her son got out of the military and became a gun owner. Now, she justified or reconciled this based on the fact that he lived in Montana, where she somehow felt owning guns was more appropriate than it was in the urban area that she lived in California. Now, this next part is what really grabbed me. So, I've written it down, and I'm going to quote her directly to the best of my memory. When that awful San Bernardino shooting happened, everybody started calling for gun control. Of course, that's happened before, and I was usually right there with them, but this was different. You see, I know the laws in California because of my son. So, when they said we need universal background checks, I thought to myself, doesn't California already have universal background checks? They called for assault weapons ban, and I thought, don't we already have that? Then they called for magazine restrictions, and I know that we have that. We already have all of it, and none of it helped. Yet, they still are asking for it. It's at that point that I realized they were not being honest, and my son might be right. With all that in mind, I had my son help me pick a good trainer, and I applied for my carry permit yesterday. The officer replied back to her saying, it's good to hear that you're getting training and doing it right. He said, as much as we would really like to be there, the truth is we can't, and your safety is really up to you. I think this conversation is very telling of the state of things. Now, gun control proponents have pulled out all the stops, and we need to remain active and vigilant. We need to remember that in the voting booth, and we need to keep calling and writing our representatives every time a proposal comes out. But what this exchange really told me is that we're winning. We're winning in the long-term fight, and the way to continue to win is to respectfully continue to spread the truth and just let gun control collapse on its own dishonesty. I think you should read that part. No, I'll be alright. Maybe you better ask him to turn it down a little bit. No, I think the officer replied. <laughs>